Today, we are going to cover all the essential tasks that you should take care of on your website. And we are going to break this down into daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly tasks. Now, clearly it is super important to take care of all of these tasks to make sure that your website stays fresh and in perfect, healthy condition. My name is Dave with Varpex, and now let's discover these together. First, let's have a look at our daily tasks. Okay, so the very first thing that you make sure that you take care of on a daily basis is to upload new content. And that is crucially important, especially if you run a blog like our own blog here. And as you can see on screen, we stick to that rule ourselves and we upload every single day. And again, this is super important so that your content will remain fresh and relevant to your audience. And our next step that you should take care on a daily basis is to take care of our comment section as well. So just to show you here, this is a sample website. This is not the actual Varpex website, but it's just to show you how this works. So once you start posting blog posts, etc., etc., online, you will receive comments and some of them will be spam, obviously, you know. So there are a few different actions that you can take. As you can see, if you hover here on top, you can reply to the comment if it's a legit comment or you can delete it, trash it all together or mark it as spam. So these are the few actions that you need to take care of on a daily basis. Now let's have a look at our weekly tasks. When you work on your website, you tend to spend most of your time in the back end, creating new content, uploading blog posts, etc. But once a week, go to your front end and make sure that everything is displaying properly. For instance, make sure that your logo is there, that all your menu items are displaying fine, that your hero section's image is displaying properly as well. And then scroll down the page and make sure that all the items and all the content on those pages are displaying fine as well including your photo section and then you can repeat that with several pages okay so this is one thing that you need to do on a weekly basis the next step is to make sure that all our plugins and themes are up to date also our database obviously you know so for this you can simply go into updates and you'll have a quick overview of the situation so as you can see at the moment everything is up to date we have no warning signs if it was the case you would see in the plugin section maybe some plugins need updating and the same for your theme all you have to do is just tick those boxes, apply the updates, and that's basically it. So make sure you do that each and every week. And the next step is a crucially important one, is just in case something was to happen to your website, make sure that you run at least one weekly backup, one complete backup of your website. So if something happens, you can grab that backup and restore it and have your website back in no time. Now let's have a look at our monthly tasks. So once a month, you want to check how your website is performing. So you want to make sure that the page load is fast enough because there is nothing worse than someone waiting for a page to load on your website and you're going to lose a lot of traffic because of this. And just to make sure that your website is performing 100%, you can use three different websites. So you can use GT Matrix, you can use Google's own PageSpeed Insight or pingdom.com. So for our example here, we're just going to use Google's own uh, test platform and we're just going to test with our own website here, verpex.com. Okay, so let's run and analyze this website and see what the results are. And there you go, guys, as you can see, 98% performance. So you want to aim to be between 90 and 100. So that's a green signal. That's all good. If you're below this, you might want to improve some of the performances in some aspects of your website. So obviously, coming from a Perpex hosting company, you would not expect less than that. 98% is an excellent score. And our next check is to make sure that our contact form is actually reaching us. So just make sure, test it out once a month, send yourself an email, so fill out those details. So just like this, and then click submit and send yourself an email. Check your mailbox and make sure it's reaching you. And next is to make sure that you don't have any broken links on your website. So this is a sample website just to show you what it looks like. So basically, if your visitors were to click on a broken link, they would face a 404 error page. And this is very bad for SEO. And also you'll be leaking traffic, which means that your visitors will not find what they're looking for and they might end up on someone else's website. And now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's make sure that we don't have any unnecessary themes installed on our website. As you can see, this is our active one that's enabled at the moment. So clearly we don't need these three. So what you can do is just click on them, delete, and do the same with all of them. 
This is going to leave your website much lighter and this will also increase the performances and the security aspect of your website. So if you do this with all the unnecessary themes that you're not using at the moment, this will improve your performances as well. Now, in line with the themes, you should do the same with all your plugins. So as you can see at the moment, we have one and two plugins that we're not using. All you have to do is just tick them, go into your drop down menu here, delete, apply, and that's basically it. Now, always make sure that these are unnecessary uh, plugins, obviously, you know. And now as a result, all that's left are the ones that we are actually using on our website. Let's have a look at our quarterly tasks. Now, every quarter, you should go through the whole list of your users and make sure they all have the right permissions and the right roles. So normally, you should have a very small amount of administrators. Usually, it's one, perhaps two or three. Now, if you have people helping you out with the content of your website, they should normally register as editors. So this, you can have a few as well. But the rest of your visitors should be registered either as subscribers, and if you run an e-commerce website, as customers, but that's basically it. So make sure all the roles and permissions are assigned properly. And in line with this, make sure that your admin and editors change their password at least once every three months. This will increase the security level. And for this, all you have to do is just to click on the profile name, scroll down the page, and right here you can set a new password. Let's have a look at our yearly tasks. And finally, once a year, make sure that you double check your About Us page. This is a very important page, obviously, because anyone visiting your website might want to know more about you, your business, your company, etc. So make sure that all the information provided here is still relevant. And also check all the pictures and all the contact details if you have any on this page and make sure that all these details are up to date. And next, make sure that your terms and condition and privacy pages are up to date as well. These are usually located at the bottom of your page in the footer section, as you can see of privacy policy and terms and condition. Now open these, edit them and make sure that all the content is still relevant. And while we are on our own web page here, make sure that your domain name and hosting plan are not due for renewals. So as always, we offer 60 day money back guaranteed. So please feel free to give us a try. We'll be more than glad to have you on board. So there you go, guys. These are some of the main essential tasks that you should take care of on your website. I hope you learned something new. And if so, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And feel free to share this with all your friends who might benefit from this. Again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.